I had a request for, for me to show what would be in a basic fly tying kit that I would put together. So I'm going to go over uh, several items and talk just a little bit about each. The hooks are probably the most important part of, your, of tying a fly. I've been tying flies for 30 years and must add, I've started with must add and they are a good product. I've never had them fail me. And we have a couple basic styles. We have just a basic standard dry fly hook. And of course you want to get different sizes. And you want also to get standard nymph hooks. And they also have streamer style hooks that are four or five extra long. Probably needs a few of those so you can tie a, a, some streamers. You want to have yourself a nice uh, selection of hooks. They're not cheap. That's a, one of the most expensive things in fly tying. The next thing you need is thread. You need good strong thread. When you're, when you're uh, just starting out you probably want to get uh, a couple of rolls of 6 aught, a couple of rolls of 3 aught even. You want to get yourself some basic colors, black, brown, some gray, olive, and cream. And that should cover what you uh, will need for thread. Starting out, you only need you only want to use uh, three aught and six aught. Three aught would be more for streamers, and six aught would be for tying nymphs and dry flies and the more delicate flies. To go along with thread, getting floss. This is yellow floss, two strand yellow floss. They also have basically every color under the rainbow, but a yellow, a red, a black. White is another good color of uh, floss. You can take white floss and with magic markers, I definitely recommend that you buy permanent markers. Take that white floss and you can change the color to whatever color you want. We have, you know, orange. There's a blue one, black. Here's a tan. We have olive. They'll work very good at changing the color of things. Here is a piece of yellow floss and I changed it to olive. Oh, you don't need a real lot. You don't have to go and buy every color that they have some other things that you'll that you're gonna definitely need lead wire or lead free wire right here get it in a 15 thousandths 20 thousandths is fine I would get the 15 thousandths for just starting out another thing for ribs you take copper wire and this copper wire here is copper wire that I took from motors all electronic stuff has motors so copper wire you can buy copper wire if you'd like you can buy it in any color here's a couple examples of copper wire that they sell here's olive this is UTC you can also get here's black wire some stainless steel wire is nice too stainless steel wire you got silver but you can also like I said simply take apart electronic equipment and I'll just give you a couple examples this is motors my son actually went dumpster diving and found this stuff here's some olive from a motor and you just simply take this off and wind them on an empty spool 
there's another color of olive color. I got a blue one in there. And they're all things that you don't have to spend any money on. You get different thicknesses of those wires. Another thing that you I recommend that you get when you're just starting is chenille. Here I have a, this is ultra chenille. You could get this in all different sizes. They usually come on cards. Cards like this, and this is wool yarn. But you get them in different sizes, and this is ultra chenille. Earth tone colors, and you definitely want this because woolly buggers is, is a good fly to make and you definitely need different colors of chenille and different sizes of chenille to make the woolly buggers. Moving on other things, here's something wool yarn. You can buy this from the fly shop, different colors, there's an olive, there's brown, you get black, just about any color you can think of. Or you can go to the craft store and buy a skein of yarn. They have different uh, different textures to the yarn and stuff at the craft stores. Moving on to some natural hairs. If you're if you're a fly tire or a, or a fisherman, chances are that you hunt also. You can get these. Here's a squirrel tail. You can buy squirrel tails at any color squirrel tails you want. I like the natural color squirrel tails. These are very nice. Put these on your fly and that puffs up really nice. They make nice streamer wings. <laughs> One thing that you definitely need would be deer hair. And deer hair comes in all different kinds of uh, textures and sizes. This is a nice uh, deer hair for caddis. This is going to spin a little bit. For dry fly wings, you want something, you want a nice soft, for this is a Comparadun deer hide, and this is a natural dun color. It might look really brown on the bottoms and stuff, but with a Comparadun, you're, it's only the tip section that is going to be used. Here's a natural color, and this is another good Comparadun color, and you can see how is a different color at the bottom than the tips are. Elk hair is, a, is another good uh, item to have. The elk hair caddis. A lot of people make deer hair caddis instead of elk hair caddis. They, do, they both do a very good job. But you can see the elk hair, the different colors. You can see the tips there by my fingers are a different color altogether. Here is deer body hair. This is from a deer I actually harvested myself. Just put a real lot of salt on it and left it outside for about a year and it, it tanned it very nicely. This is good for making muddler heads. You can body hair or belly hair is very good for making muddlers. This is a very coarse hair. It will spin very easy. Deer hair is hollow, elk hair is hollow, and that's what makes it spin. Poly yarn, this goes a long way, a little goes a long way with poly yarn. This is yellow poly yarn. It's good for making wing posts, for making wings. You could get it in any color you want. This light color, you can simply use a marker on it to, to uh, shade it the color you want. Black marker would turn this gray. Here's a item that you don't need to go to the fly shop for. And this is, I pulled apart boot laces. You can see my video in preparing materials and I demonstrate how to pull apart that boot lace. You can get it any color that they make shoelaces or boot laces in. And this is great shuck material. You can use this for wing posts. You can actually twist it up and give your wrap a body with it. Other body materials. One that you definitely need is hair's ear dubbing. This is hairline. 
hair's ear dubbing. You can use the hair's ear dubbing for many flies, nymphs, stone flies, dry flies. Very good product. Here is a dubbing dispenser. These actually aren't that uh, expensive. They get uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 different colors in there. And this is super fine dubbing. And it covers the whole spectrum of for dry flies. There's, there's other kinds of dubbings. And this is crystal dub. And you can see it has uh, like crystal flash or angel hair chopped up and blended in with it. <coughs> this is a mixture of hair, hair's ear dubbing blended with some synthetic fibers and the crystal flash. That's very good. It goes on nicely. There you have Antron dubbing and here's another dispenser, another 12 pack dispenser and uh, Antron is good when you want a little bit more of a shiny body because this is uh, has a lot of sparkly sparkle to it and then you got natural materials there's a, there's my Hendrickson blend there's an olive blend this is a lot of this this particular side is a lot of rabbit but on the other side I have one for this is olive or dyed gold hair's ear you got beaver we have this one up here is mahogany that's hair's ear there's more hair's ear here this is a light sulfur it is a blend of uh, different polyesters it's not hair's ear, it's a little bit of antron, but it doesn't have the sparkle. I got bleached beaver, some red fox. You can also use things like muskrat, mole, squirrel hide. Moving on to feathers, you, you want to get yourself some goose biots. You can get turkey biots, you can get uh duck quill biots but here is a flight feather this is a duck feather and you also want some of some uh, duck feathers and you see this skinny part this is the biot side this is the the leading edge of a flight feather that's what cuts the wind so so well pull it up and you can see all the biots in there you want mallard or goose or duck any kind of duck and probably a, a definite uh, must-have is pheasant tail centers this is a natural here's one that is dyed olive they have very long barbels you can see how long these barbels are let me pull a couple of them off you can see how long those barbels are there and they're good for a lot of different kind of flies the pheasant tail nymph is the most popular you can use these for tails on different nymphs wing cases turkey tail feathers make very good wing cases for nymphs and and uh, things see how nice molted they are and when you pull it off these actually see the fibers are nice and long you can actually take one of these and wind it for uh, quill body fly turkey wings another thing hunters can get lots of you can actually see a couple BB holes right in there I have four brothers and they all turkey hunt I don't turkey hunt I don't want to like it too much but I have an endless supply of turkey feathers. I've got nice molted uh, coloration in there. Another feather that you would definitely need is 
peacock curl. This is strong peacock curl. You buy it with the strong peacock curl and buy a large. They have large and small and that just amounts to the amount you get in the package. Buy a large. It's not these this stuff isn't expensive. But peacock curl is an indispensable part of fly tying. You can also have peacock sword. These are good for tails on different flies. Several streamers have peacock sword for the tails on them. This isn't a must have, but it's a nice to have. And bucktails. Bucktails are a must have. This this one here is a orange dyed orange. Here's one that is dyed yellow. And the nice thing, one of the nice things about bucktails that are dyed, and even the natural one that's white, just like all of them come from white-tailed deer. When you get to the brown side when they dye them, you get a nice a different shade into that brown just like this one it's dyed orange and you can see it's a nice brownish color on the dark side you definitely need some some bucktails definitely need a natural one getting into the colors would be further down there's a nice purple one that dyed purple the other side is a nice darker purple you get them all different colors, chartreuse, brown, dyed any color. Here's something that I would say that you would definitely want to get, and this is craft fur. You can get them all different shades. Just go to the craft store. There's there. I have about 10 of them here. Got a nice, this looks like a coyote or uh, some kind of a canine type hide there's brown craft fur here we have chartreuse craft fur I'm gonna need more because this one's almost all gone here's a nice pink craft fur it's lighter pink under underneath we got orange I got olive there's white next one is a gray and red chartreuse you can just about any color you can think of or style they have craft fur when you use craft fur on streamers it's just like the squirrel tail when it gets in the water it puffs out really nice and you get a nice full bodied fly out of it another product that is a must a must have is marabou here's a yellow marabou pull one out of the package and marabou is simply turkey body feathers and that's what marabou is of course they treat them these are all from those white turkeys that you eat and they dyed them to any color in the rainbow and the marabou that has the really thick stem that's good for pulling off or making tails for woolly buggers and tail tails and different kinds of streamers and if you want to wrap the marabou around your hook you want a blood stem marabou which is a very fine up in the tip here is the blood stem for from the marabou when you're first starting out you want to get a black a brown and an olive color other feathers that you need are mallard flank feathers. Mallard flank are cheaper than regular wood duck and they dye them to match wood duck colors. But lemon mallard flank feathers are probably the most popular. If you if you use a pattern book, you're gonna have you know imitation wood duck they call it. It's mallard, nice bars on them. This is a lemon. And now the Probably the most expensive part of fly tying is hackle. And you can check out my video on uh, selecting a quality hackle.
this is an Indian Indian uh, cape this is your basic farm yard hackle here is a dun colored one you want to definitely have a dun this is a badger see the black markings in the top cream and badger mixed and you could get some pretty nice Indian hackles here's a really nice one and I get a lot of dry flies out of this one and this is a brown or a red brown you want a cream you want blue done you you want a brown or a red brown and you also want a grizzly hackle this is a Mets cape very nice grizzly cape capes a lot of your dry flies hackles are gonna end pretty quickly it's maybe from here to the tip that's only gonna be your dry fly and then you have all of this these, these will be good for woolly buggers and things like that streamers as opposed to a saddle and here I have a grizzly saddle and you look at this and look how long those feathers are and these are all dry fly quality like I said if you check out my video on selecting quality hackle I speak in depth about the about the hackles here's a cheap hackle that you that you uh, definitely need though is strung saddle hackles and these are hackles that you're going to need for tying streamers a lot of them a lot of them are good for tying woolly buggers and hackles of course you could get them in any color under the sun something that I would say you want to definitely get is some crystal flash and you definitely want to get pearl this is a pearl one you definitely want to get a package of pearl at the very least but you can get them in all different kinds of colors you know starting out I would say just get the pearl color but you got silver we got a green one we got rainbow color yellow we got a teal blue we have a royal blue here's another another shade of blue yellow different shade of yellow a purple purplish color chartreuse but don't get overwhelmed with everything just get yourself a pearl crystal flash a couple of other products that you can uh, that you would will definitely need first of all a dubbing wax I, I use beeswax <laughs> any kind of uh, here's another beeswax and this is Burt's bees but just about any kind of uh, non scented chapstick will work uh, very nice for you <laughs> keeping with tools maybe a pair of, of tweezers to have a good hair stacker this is a solid brass hair stacker I've had this for 20 some years this is very good this is a short one you can get larger one for stacking here's a large one get the large one for stack for uh, stacking the bucktail another thing that I consider to be an indispensable product is crazy glue super glue anything like that hackle pliers I like to use the easy hackle pliers there's a lot of different kinds of hackle pliers threaders or the bobbin holders and a bobbin threader is really nice to have a whip finisher it took me a long time before I learned how to use a whip finisher but since I learn how to use a whip finisher I'm using it all the time it's a really good uh, thing to have things like dubbing twisters dubbing twister is a nice to have but you'll want one of these and you'll want to learn how to use it because there's a lot of flies that 
that you can make using that dubbing loop. A bodkin. This is a very essential tool right here. It is basically a brass tube has a hole in it and it's tapered on the end and this is your half hitch tool has a long needle on the other side and this is an indispensable product right here scissors of course scissors you get straight ones curved ones maybe razor blades but be very careful when you use them this is a half of a double bladed razor here's something that I that I think is a indispensable product and this is what I call a poke and snip and this is you can get this at any store dollar stores things like that it is simply a cuticle trimmer and this is you see me using this a lot in my videos to cut hackles cut the thread cut different products another product that I think is another indispensable product you can see I had this a real long time the teeth of this comb are getting bent and such but this is an eyebrow eyebrow, eyebrow brush get this in the uh, cosmetics department you can buy it from a fly shop if you like but you can get these really cheap in a cosmetics department of the dollar store can't be afraid to go in that air head cement there's a lot of different brands of head cement on the market and millions of fly tires use this Sally Hansen's hard as nails it's clear it dries very hard and that is another product from the dollar store you pay a more craft store items that you can get here I picked up this is Ginnebird uh, wing feathers they're dyed all different colors we got some olive we got yellow we got green orange blue purple red all different kinds of colors in there and this was pretty cheap at the dollar store or at the craft store products like here's a dyed I got a, a, a selection of dyed turkey wings and these wings aren't from the wild turkey there's no molting marks on them these are from the domestic birds and here this is an orange one I have red blue green purple yellow they're all good nice things to have another product that you can get from the craft store or you can buy different colors from your fly shops and this is an ostrich hurl ostrich hurl is fantastic material I use this a lot for streamers for putting wings on streamers this stuff moves with every little wave it just pulsates you can see just by shaking that a little bit how much movement it has it is very strong these don't break very easily at all you can get different colors of these and I have a pink one on the wall I have this black get white just about any color you want another, another thing that you should have just starting out is rubber leg material here's some here's some rubber leg this comes on in uh, bands they're an inch wide and up to three feet long and these will break down into nice small see and this put this will break in half again into nice small rubber legs use them for a lot of different things on flies or you can go to, to the local tackle shop and you can get spinner bait skirts here's a nice chartreuse and orange one here's a here's the spinner bait skirt it has that plug on there where you put the hook through it it's a nice they got silver and glistening and plus white and this is all rubber leg material you definitely want to have uh, beads for bead head nymphs these are brass beads or these are copper beads you can get brass tungsten different sizes different colors 
other product you can get from the craft store and these are glass beads these are nice uh, different colors in there but nice pumpkin orange color those making those hot colored nymphs I'm sure I haven't covered everything but that's everything that I can think of right at the moment let me run through just the basic things once again you definitely want deer hair you want hair's ear dubbing get yourself a container of the super fine dubbing in the dispenser they come their holes are drilled already very good you need that for all your flies you want chenille definitely need chenille you definitely need uh, a couple assortments of deer hair like I said poly yarn regular wool yarn peacock hurl and hackles hackles are a major thing it, like I said, if you check out my video on selecting quality hackles, that will help you. Turkey tail, turkey wing, pheasant tail. And if you have someone that pheasant hunts, take the whole skin off them. There's hundreds of uses on that skin. Mallard wings, mallard quills, goose quills, any kind of duck quills. You can get many of the tools that I showed you from my website. That is the flymangym.com. Go to the shopping page. And I hope this was useful. Please leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.